Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on the channel and today I want to discuss something that has recently came up in the Fallout community and that is about Dion Demucci who created the song The Wanderer which is featured in Fallout 4 and one of the Fallout 4 promotional trailers. Um, he's basically suing Zenimax Studios um, for pretty much having the song in the trailer I don't know if it's more about the game itself, but he seems to claim about the trailer. Now, I want to give my thought on this, and I want to hear your thoughts as well in the comments. But basically, my thoughts on this is, why is he only just discussing this and bringing it to everyone's attention? The game has been out for almost two years, and the moment it's over one year and a half. So... Why is he only just to notice this, or why now, when everything's over and done with Fallout 4, DLCs are out of the way, the game's been out for a long time, why is he now starting to go against Zenimax? Because he should have been aware of, of this for quite some time by now. He should have known what his song was being used for, and he claims that he doesn't want it to be in a game where killing is for sport now in the trailer that this song is featured in there is no killing of sport he only shoots like a rad roach and that's pretty much all he kills and he shoots some super mutants but they're enemies so it's not for sport really because he's just protecting himself against the creatures in the wasteland that could harm him so I don't understand why he's doing this. Some people say it's because he wants a bit more attention, he wants some money. And I kind of agree with that because, I don't know, he's quite old now so maybe he's thinking, oh, maybe this will help me get my songs back out there or whatnot. But I don't know why he's going against this anyway because, if anything, his song being in 4 4 has only helped him. It couldn't have made it any worse for him because it's promoting his song and he's probably became more popular due to it being in Fallout 4. So, I don't know, it's kind of a stupid situation. And he, they, Zenimax gave him money to use his song. It's not like he didn't know about it. He knew his song was being used in something. And they must have told him what his song was being used for. At least a name like Fallout. He could have researched into it and thought, maybe I don't want it in here, but... Why now? Why one year and a half into the game's existence have you only just started to bring this up? Plus it was a trailer so it was before the game even came out so you had even more time to say something against this. And the thing is it's in the game as well, it's on Diamond City Radio. So it's not like it's just in the trailer, it's also in the game. So what are your thoughts on this guys? Let me know in the comments, I know it's a short video but I just wanted to bring this to your attention. Or maybe you already knew, but I wanted to just discuss it with you guys and what I thought about the entire situation. So make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more content and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.